Definitely. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, cool. I talked to your dad today. Okay. Yeah. And um, kind of indicated to me that he'd like to see you do a little more tutoring. Okay. Instead of a half hour every couple weeks, mm -hmm. uh, we probably ought to try to do an hour a week, whether it's two half hours or whatever. Okay. Until yeah. you get your grade up. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because um, that's the key, and and really, uh, whether you improve your grade or not, really comes down to how much time you put in on it. Yeah, if, exactly. If you do a half hour with me every two weeks, it's not going to help. No, nah, it's not going to do much. Well, yeah. it doesn't. I mean, it, it all comes down to time. Uh -huh. uh, if you do an hour every week, I'll bet we make a big difference. Uh huh. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I remember our last session. Mm hmm. And you had a bit of a problem with, uh, let's see if I can bring it up. Okay. Yeah. Not that one. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, with the, uh, yeah. Bottom one. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I have a similar problem. Okay. That you may have already seen, I don't know, I mean... I get all of my problems from Chatfield geometry students, and I have like five or six. Oh, God. So it, okay. I tend to get the same problems repeatedly given to me. Okay, yeah. But the one that is most like that is this one. In other it words, is, yeah. It have you seen this one? I have it now, but it's similar. It's the same thing. It's you know, actually, parallel lines and isosceles triangles and linear pairs. Yeah, I actually have the same exact paper, like right in front of me. That's this one. Good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, let's do it a different way. Okay. Let's hit, as long as you have the paper in front of you, can you label uh -huh. the angles? I can, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because... I don't want to really have to redraw this. The only mm -hmm. proper way for me to do this problem is to redraw it. Okay, yeah. But this problem is different than the last problem because this one you can actually solve in order of the letters. In okay. other words, you can solve for A first, B second, C third, and so forth. Okay, yeah. Okay, not that that really matters. In other words, that really shouldn't make much difference. Okay. Um, but that is one difference between this problem and the one we did before. Okay. Is that you can solve in the order. Okay, yeah. So I suspect this is a good thing to go through because... This is all about parallel lines, isosceles triangles, and linear pairs. And let's just talk about that real quick. Mm -hmm. Let me give you some examples. Okay. What is X? Uh, so, like we know that a triangle adds up to 180 degrees, like the sum, yeah. so, um, we could do 180 minus 40, which is 140 divided by 2. Okay, which, that's yeah. X. In yeah. other words, this has to be 70, and that has to be 70, because exactly. they're the base angles of an isosceles triangle. Yeah. So it's not just that the two sides are equal, it's that their base angles are equal. Uh-huh. Yeah. Exactly. Hold on. You're good. What is A plus B plus C plus D equal? Um, 
360, right? Oh. Uh, that's quadrilateral. Okay. What is in the bottom picture? What is A plus B equal? Ninety. No, one eighty. Oh, so they're both equal to 180 then? Uh-huh. It's a linear okay. pair. In other words, whenever you have oh, a yeah. straight line, it doesn't matter how many angles you have. Okay. They add to 180. Okay. If yeah. this one is 110, then that one has to be 70. Okay. Okay. And okay. that principle is also in these problems. In other mm -hmm. words, these problems only have three principles. They have parallel lines, they have linear pairs, they have isosceles triangles. Okay. Let's look at parallel lines. Okay. Parallel lines are these two, mm -hmm. and that's a transversal that cuts them. Uh-huh. Tell me yeah. which angles are equal to one another. One, uh, one, one is equal to what? Uh, eight. Angle eight. Okay, what else? Uh, two is equal to angle seven. What else is one equal to? Uh, one can also be equal to five. Correct. Because they're uh -huh. corresponding. Uh-huh. Um, and then two can also be equal to six. Okay. Um, two can be equal to seven. Okay. Um, four can be equal to five, and then three can be equal to six. Correct. Okay. okay. You just mm -hmm. gave me all the proper ones. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, let's make it slightly harder. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that that's perpendicular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Might be an 89 degree angle instead of a 90 degree angle. Okay. What's one equal to? Uh, angle 5 and angle 8. Well, actually, now 1 could be equal to 4. Okay, because um, they're vertical angles. Yeah, and then 2 and 3 are equal. It's also equal to 5. Mm hmm And it's also equal to 8. Yeah. So what's 2 equal to? Uh, 2 can be equal to 3. Uh, 2 can be equal to 6. And then 2 can also be equal to 8. Or seven, my bad. Seven, right. Yeah. In other words, when they draw the transversal close to a parallel or close to perpendicular, mm -hmm. then it's not as easy. Yeah, I agree. Because I don't see any acute or obtuse angles. If I wow. draw it like this, then mm -hmm. all acute angles are equal to one another. It's yeah. really easy because 2 is acute, 6 mm -hmm. is acute. Uh -huh. So I know 2 is equal to 6. I also know 2 or 1 is equal to 5 because mm -hmm. that's the obtuse, that's the obtuse. Yeah. And almost every problem you get is going to be two parallel lines with a transversal that's at an angle. Okay. You're not going to yeah. get a lot of problems like this. They just don't give them to you. Mm -mm. Okay. So okay. the only thing you have to know is that all acute angles are equal to one another. All obtuse angles are equal to one another. Okay. Yeah. Okay? And that's the mm -hmm. easiest way to memorize that. Okay. Yeah. And those are the three principles that are at play in this problem. Mm -hmm. well, not that okay. problem. That problem we've done. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's do this problem. Okay. Yeah. And so, and this one I've I've told you that we can actually solve it based on the order of the letters. Yeah. So let's look at this triangle right here. Okay. It's an isosceles, right? Uh-huh. Yep. What is A? Uh, 60. What? Well, so they all have... Hold on. So Yeah, go ahead. 
Let me think about this for a second. We know that this angle is equal to this angle. Uh huh. But more importantly, line three is parallel to line four. So if I drew just part of this diagram, there's L3. Mm -hmm. And frequently the way to solve these is to eliminate everything but what you see. Okay. In other words, that's 72 degrees, right? Uh-huh. Well, what's that? That would be... You do 180 minus 72. No. Or actually, no, since they're parallel, so it would also be 72 degrees. Correct. Yeah. So that's A. In okay. other words, the very first thing we can figure out is that A is 72 based on the fact that that's 72, and they are alternate interior angles. Okay. Okay. But okay. the important thing to know is that's acute. That's acute. Mm -hmm. That's parallel, that's parallel, that is a transversal. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this acute angle has to be equal to that acute angle. Okay. That's all you need to really know. You don't okay. have to know that they're alternate interior angles. I mean, you may have to know that for your geometry test, but five years from now, what you need to know is that that acute angle is equal to that acute angle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if A is equal to 72, mm -hmm. what's B? Or not B, but what's this angle here? Uh, well, they're uh, congruent to each other, so it'd also be uh, okay. 72 degrees. Okay. So that unknown angle is 72. Uh huh. What's B? Uh, you do 180 minus 72. Not 72, but minus 72 plus 72. 72 plus 72? Yeah. In other words, okay. the sum of those three angles is equal to 180. Okay. And we know that one's 72. We know that one's 72. So this one has to be 180 minus 144. Okay. Which would be... Um, 36. Yeah, 36. Okay. Yeah. What's okay. B? If B is um, 36. Uh, so if B is 36, then you would take 180 minus 36 for this. Okay. And that would give you uh, 154. 144. 44, gosh, my bad. Always, uh, let's talk about that for a second. Okay. One skill that is really a good skill to have in geometry is subtracting a number from 180. Okay. Notice that as long as the, the, the single digit is not a zero, these two have to add to 17, not 18. Okay. 17. 17. Okay. Yeah, that so, makes sense. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. So give me... 180 minus that number. Okay. So you do. Knowing that they have to add to 17, what's the first two digits got to be? Um. So third 12, yeah. So what, yeah. That's got to. In other words, these two have to add to 10. Okay. Okay. You got the pattern. Kind of. Well, let's do some more. Yeah. What's 180 minus that? Um, What's the first digit got to be? Um, that'd have to be 6. No, it's got to add oh. to 17. Whatever adds to 9 that equals 17, what is that? That equals 17. Um, 8, yeah. And then... And then this one is just the complement, the complement of ten. Okay, yeah, so two for that one. Okay. Okay, let's do some more. Okay. What's the supplementary angle to this? Uh, one eighty. Er, yeah, one eighty. No, but yeah, what's the angle that adds to 
plus this equals 180. In other words, when I say the supplementary angle, what I'm basically doing is saying that's 43, what is X? Okay, so it says 43. Remember, uh, the first two digits have to add to 17. So what? Yeah, so that'd be 13, and then uh, then that'd be 7. Okay. That's the, oh, I get it. Okay, I that's see. That's the easy way to do it. Okay. The only time it's not that is if you mm -hmm. have a zero. Okay. And then this digit has to add to 18. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But most of the time, you don't have a zero. You have mm -hmm. a digit. In other mm -hmm. words, if I gave you this, what's the supplementary angle to this? 180. So it would have to be, yeah, so 14 and then 9. So 149. That's the best way to do it. Okay. You can do all of these in your head. You don't need a calculator for any of these. Okay. And that's helpful because so often in geometry you have to subtract from 180. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's every problem we do, you have to subtract from 180. Okay. Okay, so knowing mm -hmm. how to do it is is useful. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we did A, we did B, we did C. Uh -huh. What's this angle again? Uh, that was 72 degrees. So what's D? So if that's uh, 70, 72 degrees, you would add both 72 up, which would be... What's the first two digits? Yeah, so it would be 144. So, yeah, the two digits, 14 plus 3. My, like, yeah. my mistake. Minus, yeah. My mistake. In other words, this angle uh -huh. plus this angle is 144. Yeah. So, what is D? Um, and then that would make D... Do it the way I taught you? Yeah, so you uh, do the first digit first. Yeah, so it, that'd be three, and then that would be six. So thirty-six. That's the way to do it. Okay. Okay, so D is thirty-six. What's E? And then that would make E. You do one eighty minus thirty-six. Um, that'd be fourteen. Four one forty-four. Perfect. Okay. See how much easier it is? If, much easier. If you yeah. know that little system there. For sure, um, yeah. These two numbers always add to 17 if that's not a zero. If it's okay. a zero, then they add to 18. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. If it's anything other than a zero, they add to 17. Okay. So we've got A, B, C, D, E. What's H? Um, And then... You do the same thing, so you do 180 minus 144. Well, now hold on. What's the relationship between E and H? Uh, they'd be corresponding. Yes. So yeah. H is equal to 144. Okay. Isn't that yeah. what E was equal to? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Now, they don't have an I here, mm -hmm. rightfully so. They also don't have an L. No. The reason they leave them out is because I and L can be confused for the number one. Yeah, true. So they don't want them in there. No. Okay. But So there's no I, but what is J? If we look at that parallel line and that parallel line, and H is 144, what is J? So if H is 144, then they're not alternate. No, they're they're not the same. Clearly, that's obtuse and that's acute. That's acute, yeah. But that's parallel with that, and that's a transversal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are they? They're supplementary. They are, so you would do 180 minus 144, which would give you 36. That's J. Okay, so J would, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's figure out K. Okay. 
Um, we figured out B. What was B? Uh, well, B was 144. Oh, no, look at B. Oh, so th that's an acute angle. It's the same as J. It's the same as J, yes. It'd be 36. Corresponding angle. So B is 36. Yep. What's vertical to B? Um, this angle right there. Angle K, yeah. Well, it's not or, angle yeah, that, K. It's not, it's not K, yeah, it's that angle. But K and this angle are what? Uh, K and that angle are... They're not supplementary. What they're are linear. They're linear. They're complementary. Oh, they're complementary? In other words, they add to 90. Okay. The two acute angles of any right triangle add to 90. Okay. In other words, 180 is the magic number in geometry, but occasionally when you're looking at a right triangle, mm -hmm. these two angles always add to 90. So if this angle is 36, what is this one? Uh, so you do 90 minus 36 for this one, which would make it uh, 40. 54. Er, yeah, 54. Yeah, my Notice bad. that these two numbers have to add to 9 or 8. Yeah. One less than 90. Yeah, exactly. Because these are going to always add to 10. Okay. okay, yeah. So if you're doing complementary, you want these two to add to 8. If you're doing supplementary, you want them to add to, to 8 to 17. Okay. 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 Gotcha. All right. So we got K. Mm -hmm. um, the next letter, the only thing we haven't done, I believe, is M. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only one, yeah. Okay. Let's see. How do we get M? Um Let's look. That line, L3, is parallel to L4. Mm -hmm. That's a transversal. Uh huh. Yeah. So, so, if we can figure out this angle, mm -hmm. we can figure out M, which is the last thing to figure out. Okay. Hold on a moment. Let me think about this for a moment. Uh -huh. M is the same. That's obtuse. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah. same as this angle here. Okay. And it's yeah. supplementary with this angle here. Okay. Well, let's go back and figure out what A was. Uh, A was 72. So what does that make these two angles? So you would do 180 minus 72 divided by 2. Correct. So, oh. What's that angle equal? Um, so that would be... Uh, how would you do so? That would be 118. Well, hold on. 180, divided by 180 two. minus 72 is 108. 108, yeah. Divided by 2. Which would be, what is that, 108, 108 divided by 2. Okay, that's a really easy number to divide by 2. That would be 54. Right. Uh, I just yeah. divide that yeah. by 2, and I get a 5, exactly. and I divide that by 2, and I get a 4. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so now what is M? M would be 54. No, that's no, because it's obtuse. Because it's obtuse. Right. So it's supplementary to 54. Yeah. So the so first two would... digits have to be what? Um, 12. Correct. What's the third digit have to be? Uh, 6. All right. Okay. And that looks like a 126 degree angle. Yeah. In other words, when you get your answer, always look at the picture and make sure that you're not looking at an acute angle instead of an obtuse angle, or vice versa. Okay. Clearly, had we come up with 54, we'd have seen that there's no way that's 54. Okay. Well, usually when you come up with the wrong one, it's the obtuse angle that's supplementary to 54, which is okay. 126. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure we ever did F. 
Ah, uh, did we? Have... Yeah, no, we didn't. I don't think so. What did we get for E? Uh, 144. Okay, E is 144. That is an isosceles triangle. What is F? Um, F, so 36 divided by 2. Correct. Uh, which would be uh, 18. Okay. Yes, so F is so equal to 18. That's 18. What's this angle right here? Uh, that'd be 36. Hold on. Look at what kind of triangle we're talking about. An isosceles. Okay, that means the base angles are equal. Yeah, so the uh, other angle would be 18 as well. Correct. What G would be? 18. Oh, what's G? It's obtuse, big obtuse. Remember this oh, angle yeah, yeah. plus this angle or something? Yes. Yeah, so. 144. Remember, the first two digits have to add to 17. That means it's got to start that way. Yes, that'd be 166. 162. In other words, these two numbers have to add to 17. These two numbers have to add to 10. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Okay, yeah. A plus, yeah. Okay. 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 So I think we got them all. Yeah. Yeah. What okay. do we say C was again? Um, which one? Well, let's see. A is 72. Uh -huh. That's 72. That adds to 144. That makes that 36. Notice that C is vertical to the combination yeah. of those two angles. Yeah, which would be, yeah. 144. So, so C yep. is 144. Yep. In other words, okay. we don't even have to go this route. We can see uh -huh. that C is vertical with 2A. Okay. In other words, eliminate that line, mm -hmm. and you got C is equal to that whole angle. Okay. Well, we know that angle is 72 there and 72 there. Okay. So C is 144. In other words, okay. there's lots of ways to come up with these numbers. It's mm -hmm. it, there's not always only one method. Mm -hmm. There's lots of methods. You can use linear pairs. And mm -hmm. You know that C and B are supplementary. D and E are supplementary. Uh, whenever you can use supplementary, H and J are supplementary. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's obtuse. That's acute. So mm -hmm. whenever you have parallel lines and a transversal, you know the acute angle and the obtuse angle always are supplementary. Okay. Okay. Awesome. That makes sense, yeah. All right. This, All right, this cool. problem was pretty much identical to the other one. Yeah, only, almost, I yeah. Mean, yeah, it really is. Only mm -hmm. this one you can solve in the order of the letters. You can solve you can. A, B, C, D, E, F. Whereas mm -hmm. the other one, I was the first thing you could solve for. Uh huh. So yeah. This is perhaps a little easier, although it doesn't really matter which letter you can solve for first. Mm -hmm. The the idea is to find a letter you can solve for. Okay. Now, the first thing I can solve for is A. Mm -hmm. Because A and that one are alternate. Interior, interior yeah. angles. Yeah. So A has to be 72, that has to be 72, that has to be 36, that has to be 144. Okay. So immediately we can get a lot of information. And then, of course, once you know that that's 72, you know <laughs> that that has to be 36. Uh-huh. Which means yep. that has to be 144. Uh -huh. Once you know yeah. that's 144, you know that's 18, that's 18, that's 150, 162, 162. Yeah. yeah. Okay, H is okay. the same as E, mm -hmm. J is supplementary to H, mm -hmm. K can be solved based on the fact that that's a right triangle and you know what this angle is. Uh-huh, yeah and so forth and so on.
Awesome. So there's really only <laughs> three rules. There's isosceles triangles, there's linear pairs, and there's parallel lines. Uh -huh. If you know the rules for all three of those situations, you will always be able to figure out these kind of problems. Okay. There's yeah. only three situations. There's parallel lines, there's linear pairs, and there's isosceles triangles. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Perfect. Dylan, I will let you go. Okay. Sounds good. I will talk to you next time. I thanks for your help. All right, Dylan. Bye. Bye.